Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. Wanted to come at you with a review video. Now I apologize, this review video may be a little lengthy, but I want to do you a super thorough job. So, if anybody on here is watching this, if you're on Facebook, you've been watching some of the Facebook coon hunting groups on there, people will ask, what's the best coon hunting light for the money? Everybody's got the preferences. I'm a big dog man. Some people are bright eyes, sunspot, Dakota, whatever it may be. I'm not going to argue about that. But you've always got those guys that comment on there and say, go to Amazon and pick up the Koree, K-O-H-R-E-E. -E. Not sure how you say it, guys. But anyway, they say pick up the Koree cap light. And it's supposedly a spotlight that also has a red and a green. It's a cap light on a soft cap. Um, it runs for about 80 to 95 bucks. Everybody who buys them and comments on these posts on Facebook say they're an awesome light. Well, it's got me curious, guys. So here's the deal. You guys have been absolutely awesome. My nightlife family has been awesome. You guys have been buying hats and shirts like crazy. Really supporting me really well. So I want to take a little bit of that money, turn around, and give it back to you guys. I went out and I purchased one of those Kori lights from Amazon. So this here is the way it comes, guys. It's in the box. I have not opened it. I have not looked at it. You guys are going to look at it for the first time that I look at it as well. So let's take it over here to my bench, cut this thing open, and let's see what we're working with. Alright guys, so we got it on the table. We're going to go ahead and cut it open. Uh, I've yet to open it myself, so you guys are going to see it at the same time that I do. Of course, you go ahead and get this on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below if anybody might be interested in it. So we got lots of bubble wrap. One box inside of another box. there it is guys that's what the box looks like on the outside you can see that it says Koree cap light uh, according to this it's a camo light it's got spotlight with a red and a green newest LED technology multicolor LED rechargeable battery pack comes with it lithium batteries seven position switch three levels of brightness for main beam two for off positions says it comes with a two-year warranty multicolor beam rechargeable robust aluminum head 80,000 lux and made in China of course and nothing about this made in America we'll go ahead and get started so we open it up first thing we notice is it is not assembled we basically got a cap and we got the whole thing thrown in here. So right here's our charger. Um, looks like, not sure what that is, honestly. Maybe a housing for the battery to fit on the cap. And then throw it in here. What really put in here too good is the light. It says covery on the back of it. It's got mounting brackets. Right here's the head. It's got the two different LEDs on the inside there. Main one in the middle. It's got a mounting clip right here on the back. Um, I will say the cord seems to be pretty heavy duty. Seems to be pretty lightweight. Um, this battery pack is not too heavy. Um, let's see if there's anything else in the box here. You guys see the box is empty. We do not have any kind of mounting instructions. All right, 
right guys so I've got broke everything out here on the table for you to see go through it real quick here's your soft cap it is camouflage it's got a clip right here to mount your light on it is angled um, it's got little grooves kind of keep it from wobbling around the back of it's got a tab right here for your cord to go through one thing I have noticed though guys there is nothing drilled on the back of this for mounting this cap so some assembly is going to be required and I've got an idea how we got to do that just based on looking at the hardware that come with it um, go ahead and comes with a car charger right here nothing fancy just a little USB charger and uh, probably not worth a crap to be honest with you made in China there you go um, right here is your household charger and does not say whether this is a smart charger or not and of course there is no paperwork included in this so um, I would say probably not smart to leave this hooked up all the time um, right here is your light of course right here's the battery pack and here's the headlamp um, it's got the switch right here. I hadn't even tried turning it on yet. One thing I noticed is inside the package You also got this right here, which is basically the same thing as what's on here So I just want to take it off and take a look at it. you loosen this nut It slides off and I guess that's how you put it on you probably mount this on the back of the cap Now while they give us an extra one right here. I'm not entirely sure um, got to looking at it and It's a little bit smaller so we go to slide this in here like this I don't know if you guys can see but it doesn't quite match all the way up so I really don't understand what the purpose of this is we'll hang on to it but I really don't think we need it um, but this is the one that come with so I assume this is the one that we're going to be mounting on the cap it fits pretty good locks down so where it won't come out now when it comes to mounting the cap of course it did not come with any instructions but included in the kit of the hardware is four rivets now that's probably pretty good probably gonna work really good the issue with that is not everybody has a rivet gun so I'm not even sure if I have a rivet gun I used to have one but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't find a rivet gun or we'll have to go buy one like other people may who buy this and do not know and we're gonna see if we cannot get this mounted on the back of this light like I said before though guys it doesn't tell you where to mount this. I'm um, not sure if we're supposed to mount this down here on the strap. If we mount it up high enough, then this clip right here is going to get in the way. So, we may have to look at some pictures online and see where this thing is mounted and go from there. So, see if we can't find a rivet gun and we'll get back at it. Alright guys, so we finally got this back plate mounted on here. As we was talking about earlier, they give us two of these right here and we finally learned why because they're very fragile. I actually end up breaking the tab off of this side right here. So uh, I don't know, maybe they intentionally know that so they give you two or maybe they think you're planning on mounting this onto another cap later or something. But anyway, I'm glad they give me two because this one did break it pretty much nothing. Anyway, we end up having to get a rivet gun. So if you guys don't have a rivet gun, you will need to get one so as additional expense. Comes with the rivets to mount this on the cap right here. Um, like I said, you'll have to get a rivet gun, put that on there. Also on the back here, guys, didn't come with any kind of instructions but putting the rivet on right here um, through the cloth I really don't think that's going to hold up too well um, going through the briars and the brush and stuff like that I feel like that's going to rip off your head so I wouldn't say that's constructed very well we do have the plate mount on the cap now so we also took this right here and put it on charge for about two hours um, of course here's our charger right here we did not come with any instructions so we do not know if it's a smart charger or not I did not want to leave it charged up for too long just for that reason so basically put this on here oh I'll go ahead and show you this too guys you see this right here this is where it would lap around the actual cord and hold it to the cap the only problem with that is I don't know if they're all going to be this way if you guys go buy you one or what but this needs to be mounted way up here let me show you why we put this in here where it goes tighten that little nut down and that right there guys is completely behind the battery it's not gonna do any good at all so uh, might as well just cut this thing off or if you had some way of popping those rivets out and moving it up you could um, I'm not gonna worry with it myself because I don't actually plan on using this thing um, so this right here this is the top part of course it just slides right in here and that right there guys is the way it's mounted up the cord's got a ton of extra slack hangs way off the top of the head um, 
I will say one thing when it comes to construction of this thing the headlamp seems to be pretty good the cord is a super heavy gauge I do like that um, it's just the way this is thought out to go on this cap I guess is really my issue the light seems to be pretty well built especially for the money um, right here inside guys we have the uh, the green and the red LED plus your spot you don't have any kind of walking light with this thing at all but you do got to get the green then you have the red LED in the spot you don't have a walking light uh, as far as this cap goes I would say this thing's pretty much just completely junk um, but for 80 bucks what do you expect to get the light seems pretty well built though um, like this right here turn it upside down shake it it falls off with ease um, it's got no real way of locking in there very well I mean it clips on but that's just going to fall off so you know being an $80 light you can't expect a whole lot just know the fact that if you get you know bounce around if you got to run down a ridge or something to your dog really fast or this thing gets caught on a limb or something it's going to pop it off your head pretty easily so you know wish has was designed a little bit differently somebody with some ingenuity could probably do something better with that at home but this is what you're getting when you open it out of the box so um we'll go ahead and uh, get you a little bit closer look i want to open up the head on this thing and show you kind of the way it's wired up and give you a closer look at the battery and stuff and then we'll take it outside and show you how bright it is all right so we'll give you a little bit closer look on this uh this is the back clip plate on the back here um it's got a little tensioner right here you know it will flex all the way around like that um, the housing on this thing seems pretty solid. Um, of course, it's aluminum. Seems to be pretty well built. Like I said, the gauge of the cord is really super thick. I'm impressed with that. Um, seems to be reinforced right here where it goes into the uh, actual battery. So pulling back and forth, I don't think that's going to be a major problem. Um, the switch right here is it's a good switch, I believe. But this right here where this battery housing bolts together kind of gets in the way of your thumb whenever you're trying to roll it down. I don't know if that makes any sense, um, but basically we'll go ahead and set this aside. You can take this all the way to one side and it's off. Now, hope you guys can see this light turn on. When I go click to the right, that's my low, medium, and high. And if I keep going, that turns it off. That's like right dead in the middle. Now, if I keep going to the right, that's my red and my green. Now. You can't go one more to the right and it turns it off. So basically all the way left is off, all the way in the middle is off, and all the way to the right is off. So you basically start out wherever you would like it. I would say keep it right here in the middle. It makes sense if you want color, you're going to turn to the right. And if you want your spot, you're going to turn to the left and it's going to start out on your bright setting. So um, now go ahead and open up this right here. Seems pretty, pretty well machined, it's pretty well, pretty tight in here. Um, it does have a little bit of a seal inside there. I don't know if you can see that white seal. Kind of, It says it is rainproof. It does not say it's waterproof. It says it is rainproof. Um, inside is your housing. Um, looks to be pretty well wired together pretty decently. I'm not going to jerk it wide open here and end up tearing it to pieces or anything. Because um, I'm not an electrician, so I wouldn't know how to solder all that back together. But this is pretty well. This These are brass rings housing these LEDs. So I think they're pretty well built. Um, I'd say in general, though, that's I mean, it's a pretty good light far as that aspect goes so you got the outer ring right here um, your lens will drop inside of this just like that and then your little o-ring here whatever they got goes in there and then just place it in here pretty simple and screw it together so here it is guys here's the Karee light the most talked about uh, headlamp coon hunting light on Amazon for around 80 to 90 bucks now the big question is everybody's wanting to know how bright is this thing right here so we already know right now they give you two of these because they're going to break that's junk made in china car charger i wouldn't trust it a whole lot household charger that it comes with we do not know if it's a smart charger or not the cap it comes with is mediocre at best you do have to install this back plate to hold your battery pack on the back this is not in the correct position and this whole thing did not come with any instructions or any paperwork whatsoever to tell you how to do any of this so but let's take it outside we're going to find out just how bright is the 80 dollar kori amazon light so we're outside right here we got the uh amazon's most talked about coon hunting light the kori 80 dollar light we're going to show you the different settings so here we are we're going to start with a low 
We're at the base of a tree right now. We'll go ahead and take it all the way up. And I'd say that's about 80 foot up in a tree right there. So we'll go ahead and take it back down. Now we're going to go to our medium setting, a little bit brighter. We'll go up to about the 80 foot mark again. Come on back down. All right, now this right here is our high setting. Pretty good sized poplar tree. I will say it seems to be pretty bright. About 80 foot up, you will be able to find coons pretty good. It's got a decently tight spot to it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put, show you the red color. This is right here. We're not gonna zoom into this much. We'll go ahead and take it up the tree a little bit. Um, you can see the tree pretty good. It floods out pretty wide. I would imagine if the coon's in the tree right now, you've hit a squalor, the eyes are gonna show up pretty good. Um, but I think it'll be do pretty decent. And now we'll go ahead and show you the green color. Green's fairly bright. I would say this would probably use more as your walking light to save battery power, um, since it does not come with a white walking light. It lights up the tree pretty good though. I'd imagine anything up there, you'd be able to see the eyes with it as well. So staying up there, we'll go back to the red. And there's your high setting, medium, and your low. There you go guys. I think in general it's a pretty super bright light. I'm actually impressed with how bright it is for what it is. Um, if you had a, a better bump cap and maybe a better cap light, it would uh, serve you a lot better if you could put that on it. But as a general, I think it's pretty good light for $80. Um, you know, you try to compare this to some of the other brands out there like Big Dog, Sunspot, Bright Eyes. You know, there's no comparison. This is, this is nothing compared to those guys. But you need an entry level light, you don't have a lot of money, or a kid needs a light, 80 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong with this right here. Alright guys, so it boils down, what is my thoughts about the Amazon's Coon Hunting Kori light? Um, like I said before, all over Facebook, you'll see a guy post something, what's the best coon light out there? And you'll have guys name every brand under the sun. And there's always somebody who says, the Kori light from Amazon, 80, 90 bucks. So, being that there's so much hype about it, so many people using them, I went on YouTube, I looked, there's nobody giving a review about these lights, so I want to make sure I give you guys one, a thorough one. You guys have been awesome and blessed me by buying merchandise from www.nightlifekiln.com, so I'm taking some of that money and reinvesting in you guys. We bought this light right here. So what are my thoughts? Well, in general, I would say this light is fairly good. Um, some of the pros, you got an all aluminum head, you do have two different color lights, you got a red, and a green. Um, you also got a bright spotlight, high, medium, and low. Um, so in general, it's very bright. You will be able to find coons with this light. All aluminum housing. Uh, the cord is a heavy gauge cord. I think it's gonna last forever. It's uh, reinforced right here where it goes in battery housing. I don't think that's gonna give you a bit of a problem. It's not very heavy, um, but in general where the cap light is, I think the cap light's junk. Um, you can see right here, it falls off very, very easily. Um, so way it clips on the cap lot is no good. Also, it didn't come mounted to the cap light on the back here. You have to mount that. If you don't have a rivet gun, you'll have to get one or rig up something else. But the light in general, I think, is really good. For 80 bucks. I don't think it can be beat. If you're on a budget and you need an entry-level coon light, this is going to serve you very well. Or if you're a kid, I think this will work great for a kid. A um, little disclaimer here, though, guys. If you were buying this light thinking you're going to save yourself 200 bucks over the big-name guys like Big Dog, um, bright eyes, sunspot, and all those other guys. Um, I think you're sorely mistaken on that aspect. This is not the quality of light of the big manufacturers that you'll find online today. Um, this just isn't that. It's made in China and it's exactly what it is. It's going to get you through for a little while. It says it has a two year warranty, but being from China, there's no phone number. It didn't come with any paperwork. It didn't come with an instruction manual or anything. There's no customer service number. How you would get this worked on, I have no clue. The big name guys, you can call them up. They all got phone numbers and websites. You can go on and talk to them. most time the owner directly and get something straightened out if your light ever goes down. This one, I'm not sure if you will, but being 80 bucks, something catastrophic happens to it, you can afford to buy a whole new one too. So take that as you guys wish. Just want you to have that information. This right here is not one of your big name brand quality lights. 
but uh, I think it'll do very well. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you appreciate us doing this, go ahead and click like now. And in the comment section, I want everybody watching this to do me a huge favor. I've got this light and I'm not really going to use it. I'm a big dog man. I believe in my big dog lights and this light right here is not going to serve me like the big dog will. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing. I've got an idea though. We're thinking about doing a torture test. This thing says it is rainproof. Um, being in this aluminum housing should be kind of tough. So we're thinking about doing a torture test video on this light right here. So if you are interested and you think it's a great idea, comment section below, say torture test. And we get enough people say that, we will make it happen. So, But I appreciate you guys tuning on. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. Nightlife Kennel. You can follow us on Instagram at Nightlife Kennel as well. If you're interested in the hats or shirts that you see me wearing um, and you're interested in buying any of that, go to www.nightlifekennel.com. We'll try to take some of that money and reinvest it in our supporters by doing stuff like this. We really appreciate it, guys. And uh, comment section below if you want me to torture test this thing. Appreciate you. In the meantime, tree one for me.